minor death. Hello and welcome to the Counterpoint Podcast. I'm Counter here with Point. Yes, it's I, and, and we're podcast. here today with well, a very. Well, let me introduce story. Podcast it, and it's Podcast. Nice the the That's pod- me, I suppose. Oh, so rude. You're joining us today for a very special pre three episode. I'm here with you, Yes, this is, yes, this is our pre three episode. Close um, the door. Thank you. Where we're talking about E three before E three. Although E three has kind of already started because we're doing this late. I don't know, but we were gonna be late no matter what. So do we wanna talk about the two events that have already passed or we just want to move on? Let's let's talk about the one that already happened. <clears throat> well two of them. I feel like we don't. There, oh, there have been Wednesday, two? Wednesday, there was the Battlefield reveal. Well, that doesn't count. It's fucking one game. It was on the schedule as its own thing. Yeah, fuck uh, that. So yeah, Anyone, they, sh- they showed Battlefield we'll 2042. Talk about it. There we go. We did. We'll talk about 2042 real quick. <clears throat> what do you think? Um, I won't buy it new, but I'll probably get it eventually. I'll be enjoying it on uh, Xbox Game Pass whenever it comes to that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. EA has a deal with them. Yeah, then we'll probably all play it. Whenever it comes out. I don't know when that day will be. <laughs> she uh, had nothing to worry about. Yeah. Um, Certainly. And then today she, was was the biggin. Did they just lose a guy? You think this was the biggin? I think this was the small. Well, I mean the biggin of the two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Summer Game Fest, where actually a lot of things got announced that have events later this week. Yeah. yeah. Um, what were some of the highlights? Elden Ring finally showed its face. Um, yeah, a game I'm obviously tremendously excited for. I've played all of those games. Yep, uh, and some of the FromSoft games before the Souls game as well. <clears throat> I'm you a big were fan. a big fan, big fan of uh, yeah. what was that called? King's Meat. What? The one for the PS One. Isn't it called King's Meat, or was it called King's something else? Uh. I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't think I've played any... Oh, no, I've played Echo Knight. That's the only PS1 from soft game I've played, though. Really? <clears throat> well... Um, what else was there today? Where's the bomb at? Borderlands, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, or whatever? Open your eyes! Um, Dude, right, hold on. I need other. to turn down these boys. Um, yeah, yeah, how about you actually hear it, too? Man. I like Borderlands, so that's that's exciting. I don't know how I feel about another game so soon. Yeah, they they say it's not a Borderlands game, but it, like it so fucking clearly is. They're like it has magic, so it's not a Borderlands game. It's like well, if everything else is the same, you just added magic abilities. Yeah, I think one of the most important things they talked about, um, obviously, was uh, Overwatch 2's two character models that they announced. Oh, Overwatch really? 2. I kind of want to talk about what do you guys think that's going to be like. I think it's going to be like Overwatch. A little I don't know. I, I think that the multiplayer in Overwatch is beyond repair <clears throat> at this point. Not like... Like, there's still fun to be had. Like, I, I don't dislike playing Overwatch. I don't think there is much fun to have. I, I enjoy playing I, with friends, but I would never play it myself anymore, I don't yeah, think. And that... I, I don't like to play competitive anymore. And it's not because, like... It, it's just because it doesn't it doesn't feel like right i don't know like before it, it before it felt uh it felt like you could outplay certain things like if you were a a tank you could like be alone now because there's so much like damage options that are just getting stronger and stronger and they have more things at their disposal like if you're a tank and you don't have a good healer i just feel like you get fucked over like your team is like more than ever the point which you know as a team game that's fine but uh so basically all this to say i'm just excited for this the solo player stuff because i like the characters yeah i I, I, i'll play the pve stuff for sure yeah and i also like that you can play with friends too so that's cool yeah yeah i think the pve stuff is probably the most interesting for me but uh i do think the the idea that it's like overwatch 2 but essentially looks like two percent better than before i mean it's happened before like kotor one and two basically the exact same like looking games but uh, i don't know it, it's just it looks too similar in a lot of ways and i don't see how they're going to change the gameplay too much i mean i know oh look it's 5v5 i actually prefer that change but i'm also just kind of turned off from overwatch well general. well you know that uh the change is in both right Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're putting the in the first one too. Yeah, 
So what did you the, say? the changes in both. The only difference between Overwatch One and Two is going to be new characters after it's released and uh, PVE the, stuff. The PVE stuff. So. I mean, competitive is going to be five v five. Yeah, in both. In both, in Overwatch One, they're doing. Oh, it okay. I think saying? that's a good change for Overwatch, but I don't know. I just. Uh, I don't think it changes much. I don't I th think. I think the issue in Overwatch I was not. I don't think Overwatch needed a sequel, and I don't think this was smart yeah. to to release in Overwatch Two. But you know, it is what it is. They I should have that... done like season passes because that's what this feels like. Yeah, I I think that uh, nobody really wanted it even though. It also really negatively affected the first game because yeah. they stopped releasing content updates. Yeah, after like the first eight months. Yeah, but like the first game <clears> was well, no, kind of going. The first game was kind of going down a spiral ever since they started releasing new characters, though. Yeah, because it started really fucking up. Uh... But that's the nature of the games like that. You have to keep releasing new characters and content and stuff or else the game just dies. Yeah, I don't know. You I, need something yes to bring game no, Because, because it, when it first came out, everybody was excited because it was like TF2. But then once they released their first new character, then yeah, now you need but to yeah, release I mean, TF2 does the same thing. Characters. It's just hats instead of characters. Well, they That's should release the hats, hats instead of fucking characters. <laughs> hats don't give they? you any new abilities, do they? Um, I don't think hats do. Some of the weapons change things, though. And plus, Activision came out right before the really negative loot box annotation. Like there was, it was already like negative a little bit, but like it really blew up. Like loot boxes fucking suck. Yeah. Like right when Overwatch came out. But uh. You know, it is what it is. I think I've talked enough about Overwatch on to uh, uh, sure. Elden Ring. I mean, I I felt like Elden Ring, uh, there's not too much I can say because I've not really played any of the games. You should. They're That's very good. Game. We could play them together. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, I I played one. I tried to be like a naked warrior, you know? Yeah, you fun. can do that. Uh, That's hard to start off with, though. I mean... That's his fault for sucking. <laughs> you gotta get good. I don't know. I feel like that also is one reason why I never had in any interest to really play. What? Is because I felt the like the community memes? is just trash. Oh. Uh, I disagree. They meme about it, but it's... I mean, the game honestly isn't all that hard. Yeah. You've, you've played it, enough games that you would not have that much of a problem with the game. Especially since the game has a inbuilt system where, like, no matter what, you're going to be leveling up because you're not going to, like, run out of souls... Like oh, you, you can just keep level up. twice in a row. Huh? What you happened? Lose, I said if you keep dying twice in a row, you'll you'll lose all your souls. That's yeah, but but I'm saying like you don't lose your levels. So like eventually you'll learn like I'm only good enough to kill this one guy. Yeah. But then if you My fight if you too, fight one guy, like you'll third get good person, enough. a lot of third person action games is hard for me to even play because it's just not my style of game. Like. I, I bought Godfall and I'm pretty much already regretting it because I just don't like. I don't know why you bought third that third-person game. action games. Oh, I bought it because I want to see FSR when it first comes out. Uh -oh. Like uh -oh. mostly technical reasons. Let's all just get drunk and co-op Dark Souls. Mm. <laughs> I think I have the, the only first the only issue is that you just run through stuff, so it will be. Yeah. Well, I guess we can co-op it. So if we're co-op, I gotta go slow. Yeah, that's fine. Listen, I can go slow. I am when it comes to when it comes to playing games, I am. Ca Captain fucking slow. Like, also, when we when we only played when we played together and I ran through stuff, it's because those areas were a pain in the ass. Yeah, I am I am Captain fucking slow. <clears throat> That's so. fine. I'll I'll just I'll build a turtle and just go slow. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, be, be a faith build. Yeah, I'll just be like a faith tank. Oh my God, but, uh, I love I love the three. They have the double tank or like the double shield. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Anyway, this is not at all important to Summer Games Fest. Um, yeah. I will absolutely build it right But anyway, let, let's let's talk about the Games Fest. Um, I there was a overhead. Uh, it had like a pink vibe. I, I'm having a hard time remember what it was called. Overhead I went to pink Summer vibe. Games. Let me look it up here. An overhead. Games announced. That's what I need to see. Let me see. Everything announced. I'll, I'll figure out exactly. Because there was a lot of games that I felt like, what the fuck is this? There are like, a lot of quick indie games that just sort of went yeah. by. 
And there's one indie game that I legitimately was like, you know what, this looks like it could be cool. I think there are quite a few that look cool. People got excited for Metal Slug Tactics, and it's probably something I would play, but I like it's not something I need. I really felt like uh, Sky Children of Light was, yep, that is, uh, that sure is a game. Like, it looks like Journey. Yeah, I mean, it's made by the Journey people. Hmm? I know, but like, it's been how many years and you released, re-released Journey? It's Journey 2013. <laughs> it was earlier I think that. it's a little older. I think it's 2011, maybe 2010. Uh, Journey's one of those games, though, that it, I don't know. It's a great it, game. It, like, it doesn't matter when the sequel comes. 2012. Like, that was close. Um, it was definitely a... Because uh... I don't think Journey is a relic of its time, so I'm not mad. All right, so really, really quickly, I know other people will have different opinions, but I felt like um, Back for Blood, the, the trailer of the gameplay, looked kind of bad. I think that's going to be um, a bad game that we will play. Yeah, Two Point Campus, I felt like, uh, looked fine. Escape from Tarkov with, the, what is it called? The streets of Tarkov? Yeah, the new looked, map. It looked like a thing. It's just, uh, it was literally Smite, just announcing a new map for The Smite so. Stranger Things was meh. Um, um, yeah. Coke it's Media's just new publishing label, that's what it is, so... You know, that that's cool. Those are all already, you know, game companies that exist, so it really didn't matter to me. Vampire the that that one thing they did show that I was like, maybe I'll pick this up is the new uh Vampire the Masquerade. I was hoping that would be like a new Nosgoth, but it doesn't look like that. Was wasn't Vampire like the first You know, one you're triggering right people with that. <laughs> I am triggering myself with that. No, because like a lot of people hated Nosgoth. I liked Nosgoth. Oh, I I, I meant game. trigger myself because they killed Nosgoth early, and I missed. Yeah, Nosgoth. they definitely did. I loved Nosgoth. Um, it was fun. I did like the little interview they had with Ian Carlo Esposito. It was a little awkward, but sure. I liked it. I thought it was fun. Because you're but far no, cry they, they actually boy. don't. I do like Far Cry. <laughs> I'm, I don't love Far Cry, but, you know, I, I bought Far Cry 5 for $10. Yeah. I think it's like a $10, $15 game series that I would be willing to pay for. Um, hey, we're, we're stalling on Summer Game Fest a lot. We haven't even gotten to the, the, we haven't gotten to the pre of the pre-3. Very well. I really only have <clears> one <throat> prediction. Well, we're going we're to we're, we're hold on. We're going to go okay. in order. We're going to hold it. We're going to go in order. Yeah. So what's next? So, okay, so tomorrow we've got the Netflix Geeked Week um, where they're doing video game adaptation shows. So Witcher Season 2, undoubtedly. Yeah. Um, Ratchet, or Ratchet, Resident Evil um, series that they're doing. I'm sure we'll see. Um, there was one other one. What else is Netflix working on? Something animated. Is it? Is it Halo they're working on, or is that a, another? No, there's a there's some video game ad. Uh, Dota. Animated. The Dota animated. Maybe maybe it was Dota. I don't know, but I know for a fact that they have a animated Dota. Okay, I don't actually care that much about the Netflix Geek Week. I just it's just on the list. Yeah, it, I don't give a fuck. To be honest. So. Um, why is why is Netflix uh like? Oh, they're E3? trying to get into gaming. I believe they're trying to work on a streaming service as well. Possibly, yeah. Do you think they're going to announce it this year? Um, No, I don't <laughs> think they have anything ready. They've just like announced planes for it. I don't think they have shit ready mm -hmm. for it. So, we also have tomorrow... Um, with Kosh Media? Yeah, which is the new... Now it's going to be called... Uh, what is it called? Sable Interactive or something? No, 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 it was Prime Matter or something like that. Yeah, Prime Matter. I don't care about that. Um, um, but yeah, there's a couple games they have that will they'll probably be a new payday. The interesting thing is they specifically yeah, well we'll see payday three probably. They said no Dead Island, no uh Saints Row, no um one other IP that people were waiting on. But basically the big IPs that people are like, we want to see this. Um they were like, No, you won't see this. Yeah, Dead Island's dead. I mean it turned into dying light and thought that was pretty what? Those are different devs. I believe it's the same. No, completely different dev. Mm, prove it to me. Okay. Dead Island is Deep Silver. Mm -hmm. Dying Light. The two. 
Dying Light 2. Techland. Tech Techland. I think I think what you're thinking of is this dev had a hand in Dead Island, but they weren't the main dev. Mm. I believe. Cool. What does Deep Silver do now? Uh, Saints Row. Or no, that's Volition. Oh. Deep Silver publishes Saints Row? What does Deep Silver work on? Uh, Metro. Metro, right then. Oh, and they, I guess they also helped with Homefront, The Revolution, and mm -hmm. Shenmue. They also, they worked on Saints Row 3, I believe, and maybe 4. Oh, no, 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 right here. Tackland created Dead Island. Wasn't it Deep Silver? It says right here. Hmm. Tackland created Dead Island. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot of predictions for the... That, uh, that show. Other than, I guess, Payday 3, yeah, as they showed that. Yeah, and I, I, like, of course, Dead Island's not going to happen. And yes, I just looked it up, and yes, the product of uh, Techland is Dead Island. I just don't see it because uh, they're working on fucking Dying Light. Yeah. Too. So, sucks to suck, but Dead Island also was a bad Wasn't game, good, yeah. So. Uh, and then there's also IGN Expo, but I think it's impossible to predict what will show up at IGN Expo since they're not actually a developer. It could be something good or nothing good. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, so then we move on to Saturday where we get Ubisoft. So obviously Far Cry 6 we're going to see. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. Is that a, is that a game you're going to buy? Probably something about Assassin's Creed. We got to we gotta talk about the games. We can't just okay, listen. Far Cry 6... Um, I don't know. It, it doesn't look like that big of an upgrade, and I, I don't, I don't know. I really will have to. I'm not going to buy it for no sixty dollars. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Maybe thirty, if I see it go for like thirty. Um. Yeah. Probably. Again, it looks like a good game. <clears throat> and then I'm sure we'll see the the big hitter of Ubisoft, a new awesome. Just Dance game. Oh yeah. Well, you know the thing about Just Dance is it's dying. They they didn't release uh, Just Dance 2021 on the Wii, so the numbers on Just Dance or on Just Dance sales are way down hmm. because people still bought it on the Wii like yeah. crazy. Wii was the Just Dance console for sure. That's what, about, that's what I was trying to say. Is like, what are you know what the last game um, made in the Wii was? It was Just Dance 2020. You want to know what the game before that was? 2019. You know what the game before that was? 2018. You know what the game before fucking that was? 2017. That's correct. All of those are correct. Uh, but to answer your question, Jonathan, I know Connect gets Just Dance games. Yeah, there's, but I mean, like, there's probably really had, like, nobody uses Connect. Yeah, and it's it's there's no Connect for the new one, so it's kind of... Oh, is there not? I thought there was. I thought the old Connect could still connect to it. It might be able to, but who the fuck is doing that? Yeah, that's fair. Um, I assume we'll see an Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLC. I don't think we'll see the next game. I think you'll see a small snippet of a of a pre-rendered trailer. Really? It's only been out for a year. Yeah, it's been out. Yeah, I. I they stopped doing I yearly they, Assassin's Creed releases. I think they'll they'll talk about the next one Maybe. just to get you like thinking. Like <clears throat> Maybe. Uh, and then the last guess I have is Beyond Good and Evil 2. If they do so, I'll cream my pants. I'll be super... I'm I'm not expecting it because I think... I think we kind of got memed. When was that? Like 2016 when they showed up? No, I don't think it was that long ago. It was, it was a while Didn't ago. Didn't they show it two it years ago? Year. Maybe two. Maybe I think it's probably more likely to be yeah, three. I think they showed some two years ago. That, that big trailer was two years ago. Yeah, the announcement was like 2016. Yeah, yeah, the one with the trailer is what I'm The talking. trailer was two years ago, I believe. Three. Okay. Yeah. 20, nope, it was E3 2017, so four. Oh. Wow. Okay. But yeah, I mean, that was like a four-minute pre-rendered, you know, trailer. I thought, wow, you have the trailer out. It's going to be like two years, and that <laughs> game's going to be out. Nope. But no. Um, Here we are, four years later, and we've never even seen gameplay. Yeah. Um, It's a bummer. But um, those are the know. only guesses I have for Ubisoft. I don't know if you have anything. I think Ubisoft may um become an Xbox partner. 
Pass. I think they'll uh, go Game Pass. Officially, so it'll Game be... Pass and, like, try to go through microtransactions? Because, I don't know. That's... I think that that's what I think that's why E3 kind of like has a Game Pass partnership is because you can buy stuff in the game. EA? Yeah, EA. No, that? like EA, you can play most games. You can't play the new ones, but you can play like anything made that's more than like a year out is on right, Game Pass. But you Pass. can also you can also just buy like the extra content that you can get in the game. So I'm saying like it's it's viable. Oh yeah, but they, they I don't think do it's that. I don't think it's viable for ubisoft to partner with that like i, I just we'll i don't see that we'll see i think they'll they'll end up being partnered with uh but with then Xbox again Game ubisoft Pass. has been moving in that direction so i'm saying like yeah they, they tried that... their own it was a huge failure i think yeah. they join up with xbox we'll see i don't know i, don't... I think that's going to be a big announcement because i think they can Take a good share of the games played on there. And it will be like, you know, games a year <laughs> older will show up. It won't be like how Microsoft does it, where it's just like, it's out, it's out. I guess we'll see. I think there'll be a few other, you know newer ips that you see i think i think it is a new console generation i think you see new ip that would be nice um so after ubisoft is devolver another similarly hard to predict show um but i i know we'll see phantom abyss that like uh indiana jones roguelike type game which looks I really cool hope I really hope we see Katana 1 <laughs> or like Katana Zero Two 2 or something related to that because I would really enjoy Katana. Yeah. Katana Zero. I thought that was probably my game of the year last year. Like I fucking had a lot of fun with it. Was that really only last year? I believe so. It might have been 20, like the end of 2019. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't have any other guesses for Devolver really. Is there I think another weird they... one? I think they do another super hot. Maybe like super hot VR two or something along that line. Would and Hotline think... Miami three be during Devolver? Oh maybe? yeah, it would. If if it exists, it's gonna be there. Maybe that. Hot... But I think Devolver is a few years ago now. I think Devolver could be bought out by uh, yeah, a lot of people. Of all companies, I think Nintendo could do well with them. Really. Yeah, because they make games that run on the Switch. Yeah. And uh, also, you know, I just think Nintendo could use some adult IP. I don't, do they want adult IP though? Yeah. I mean, they would continue calling it Devolver Digital. You know, it's similar to how Disney did it back in the day. Yeah. Disney has plenty of adult IP, but they just don't, you know, refer to it as Disney. I guess. Um, other than that, I mean, I, they, I, I don't know. I see them selling out soon. That's all I'll say. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, after Devolver is Gearbox, which we already talked about. I need is Wonderland. Uh, but... I think that there's going to be some uh, DLC that they announce. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see Borderlands 3 DLC since they did a second season pass. Um, we'll probably see the, see the movie. Expansion. A little yeah, bit of the movie. You, know, you see an expansion to Godfall, I think. Is that Gearbox? Yep. It is. So I think you see something to do with Godfall. It might, it oh, might be like a small it. DLC. I forgot they published now. They like support slash public publish, but yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know that we'll see anything from Gearbox development other than Borderlands, since if they do anything other than Borderlands, they will die as a company. You know what I think? What? I think you see something from Duke Nukem. After forever? <laughs> yeah. I think you see something Duke Nukem related. I don't think that it's that crazy, seeing as, uh, you know, uh, 
old like uh old games have been doing really well like doom and uh, what's the other one yeah but those people made new entries of their games that are good yeah but i i think uh i i'm not saying that i predict it i'm just saying that it's not that crazy to think because now they've had time to think about it they could be like hey we're remaking you know no, duke Nukem forever was in development for a hundred years i had a lot of time to think about <laughs> Um, yeah, but I, I still maybe. think you, you see something Duke Nukem related coming up. That would be interesting. Because they, they own that IP. They're going to yeah. do something with it eventually. And I think it's been long enough that now you can start to be like, give Duke Nukem a try again. Does Gearbox have the capital, though? Because, like, I know, uh, was it Battleborn or whatever? Fuck them. Mm -hmm. Whatever their MOBA I think was. They're, I think they're doing relatively well. Or not MOBA. Um, whatever their Overwatch clone was. Yeah, but that was years ago. Yeah. But it fucked them. Did that fuck them? I thought that that did, like, fine. No. It did fine for, like, a month. No. It made its money back. It did? I'm That's... pretty sure. The first month it came... But it was before <clears throat> Overwatch came out. I remember there being videos about how it was better. Like, I don't know people like well it. it's a dead game now but uh yeah i believe i mean a game that... doesn't have to stay good it just has to make back its money yeah well if if it only makes back its money and doesn't really make profit it was a lot of wasted time really i mean right. I, Waste, i've seen of time isn't marks against a company well yeah. it depends on how many higher-ups you have to convinced that your numbers are good <laughs> but anyway uh yeah um, after gearbox we yeah. move into someday which top of the line is xbox bethesda mm -hmm. um so maybe we'll see a starfield teaser i think that's without question you will see a teaser um the question is will it be gameplay or will it be no i don't think we'll see I think you might see some very minimal gameplay, like early. That'd be nice. It'll say something along the lines of like early console engine. It'll yeah. be like in-engine, I think is the word I'm looking for here. Um, like in-engine gameplay. I hope we see Ghostwire Tokyo. That would be nice. I really enjoyed uh, that trailer for that. It looks good. You guys think we're going to see any more about that new Halo? Yes, we will definitely see yes, Halo. Yes, I think you're going to see Halo. I think it's going to end up, like, a lot of people's, uh, like, memes about it. You know, it'll look a lot better. Um, I think... I think we might see uh, Hellblade 2. The what? Hellblade 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's all that company's been working on, right? So yeah, they I should be so. Ninja Theory. I think that should be... Pretty or no, long. that's not all they're working. Wait, that's is it Ninja Theory that is Hellblade? Yeah, Ninja Theory. Uh, they've definitely been working on other stuff. Um, because they're working on a uh Final Fantasy game. Really? Yeah. They're sixteen. No, no, no. Like a an off title. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think they will be doing that. I don't think I don't think anything will come of that. It's supposedly in the works already. Is it going to be, like, an Xbox exclusive? Like, uh, I don't think so, because it's Squeenix published. I don't know, man. I think you might see that... Uh, what's the right word? Tilted or swiveled in a different direction. You might see something like RPG come out. I don't, sure I don't know that Squeenix game. would allow Final Fantasy to be an Xbox exclusive. Yeah, I, I mean, 16 is going to be a PS5 exclusive, but we're not there yet. Um, what you I'm think, getting at you is... You think 16 is going to be a PS5 just, exclusive? It already is. It was announced as... Oh, really? Okay, yeah, yeah. We're, we're not there yet. Uh, the last thing I have for Xbox Bethesda is um, Machine Games Indiana Jones game. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, I have no strong feelings. We'll see what it looks like. I really like the Wolfenstein like. games, so I'm down to try a weird new Machine Which Games game. Which one did game. Machine Games work on, though? All of them. They did the Wolfenstein games. They no, no, the new Wolfenstein's. No, there's a. So one of them, someone else did Young Blood, I think. No, they did Young Blood. Someone else. Machine games. Might have did Cyber Pilot. No, they did Cyber Pilot too. No, they worked on all of them. 
Oh, okay. So what it looks like to me is Machine Games mostly didn't do Young Blood. It was Arcane Studios who did it. Arcane's listed button. on a bunch of them. I don't know, man. I know that Young Blood was mostly not made by whoever had been making them before. So who made the new order? Machine Games did. Machine Games worked on all of them. It is Machine Games IP. Okay. Okay. Well, that means it'll probably be good then. But it looks yeah, like, probably. yeah. I hope it's not too similar to Wolfenstein, since the gameplay would feel weird for an Indiana Jones game. Um, mm. But yeah, I'm excited. Do you have any other Xbox Bethesda stuff? Um, You know, I, I think they might even make another big purchase. Maybe. Oh, uh, we'll probably see Gears of Daughter. I think you could see GTA 6 announced at it. Uh, doesn't 2K have their own show? Take 2 has their own show. Mm -hmm. Or not 2K. That's Rockstar, not 2K. Um, maybe. I think you see it either at PS5 or at a PS PlayStation or in an Xbox. I think it's been long enough. Whatever they've been working on. It exists now. Guess we'll find out. Um, so after Xbox, Bethesda is Squeenix. Uh, mm -hmm. So we talked a little bit about Final Fantasy. I think we'll see Final Fantasy 16. I think we'll see Final Fantasy uh, 7 Part 2, maybe. Oh yeah, you, you're definitely going to see that. And I hope we see the Team Ninja Final Fantasy RPG. And what, what else... Um... You'll probably see another Tomb Raider. Maybe. Um, we'll see some expansion to Marvel's Avengers, or they'll tell us that Marvel's Avengers is dead. Uh, yeah, probably. Dude. probably They won't tell us, they just won't mention Marvel's <laughs> Avengers. I don't think it did well enough for them to... I mean, you got to think how much they paid just for the licensing of mm -hmm. those characters. What was that about Tomb Raider, uh, Jonathan? I said, are the new Tomb Raiders doing well? I haven't heard too many good things about them. They're, yeah, they're doing well. They're fun. They're not like the best games ever, but I, I yeah, it's not them. like they're killing it. They're not like doing ten million, but they're doing like. My biggest five. problem with them is like all three of them are her origin essentially. Like she's not the Tomb Raider yet. She's just like scared Lara most of the time. Really, I think in the last one she becomes. She becomes more, and I think that they the next one wouldn't be that finally, but it just like three games is too much of that. Well, you have what? Tomb Raider, right? Uh -huh. Rise of the Tomb Raider. And, and Shadow, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I feel like at the end of Rise slash... I do agree she seems a little... Shadow, she seems a little bit like... But I think that's more like human. You would be fucked up if you had like a rock fall on you and shit, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. I just also... I don't, uh, I don't know. From what I've played, like, they're just super... Like, I don't know. They're yeah, like they're on rails. They're like a gore fetish weirdness. Like, just don't die. Yeah, you, if you don't die, you don't get to see it. Just be better. Duh, nerd. Um, we'll see. Life is strange. I didn't. I'm sure. Huh? Life is strange. Will show up. Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe. I think you're gonna see it. I think this is the year that if if Xbox doesn't win this year, it will be a surprise to me. Like, as far as, like, win best E3. I mean, Sony isn't at E3, so. I mean, anything they announce. I mean, Sony doesn't have anything to announce. I mean, there's uh, Forbidden West, Ragnarok. All right. What are they going to... Spider-Man First 2. of all, Ragnarok, There's they haven't made anything in that game. Like, they've barely done anything. So they won't have... I don't even, I don't even know if they're going to have, like, a short... I don't think they show off Ragnarok at all. No, they're not gonna. They're not at E three, so no, they're not showing. I know. I know. I'm saying they won't sh show it off either way. Like even if they're like, oh, we're at you know, doing this stream, it, they could do nothing, but they won't show off Ragnarok either way, because nothing of Ragnarok really exists to this day. Um, Forbidden West, they already showed off. I mean, yeah, they already did. They that. Always show more, but anyway, it doesn't matter. They're not there. None of this matters because they aren't there. Um, I don't know. They're still there. The um, last Squeenix thing I have written down is the Hydos Montreal Guardians of the Galaxy game that has been in the works for a while. I think you find out that's a Switch exclusive. What? 
I think you find out that's a Switch exclusive. Why? I think it it's going to be a Switch exclusive, that's why. <laughs> why do you think it'll be a Switch exclusive? Uh, what what are you basing the graphics this on? That have been that have been uh, leaked and shown, it doesn't look very uh, advanced from what I've seen. Wild. A wild take, but sure. Um... What else? That's all I have for Squeenix. I don't have anything else written down. Um, then there's two more shows that are just like kind of like gathering shows that we can't really predict anything. And then Warner Brothers. Um, Back for Blood, I believe, is Warner Brothers published. Um, so we'll see that again. I mean, we talked a little bit about that. I don't think it's going to be a very good game. I think we'll play it probably, but I don't know if it's going to be good. Did you say that again? Uh, I said we'll probably see Back for Blood. I don't think it'll be very good, but we'll probably play it. I, I really have tamed my expectations of Back for Blood since the last time it was showed significantly. Like yeah. Significantly. Uh, Warner Brothers also has the Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad games. The... Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting player, to see if they have anything there. If maybe they, they decide to go in a direction of something like Mad Max 2, despite Mad Max 1 not performing that well, I think they could uh, potentially do something with that. Yeah. And, of course, they they have that Harry Potter game, don't they? Is that Warner Brothers? I mean, they make the games and the yes. movies. The, the Harry uh, Hogwarts Legacy, is that what it's called? Something like that. I'm not sure what the new one is called, but it's been, it's you know, rumored things. and talked up constantly. Um, yeah, I, I guess we could probably see that. I, I think uh, if you don't see it this year, I don't think it exists. It's the same thing where I felt about Elden. The... I'm, I'm torn on that because, like, Harry Potter is interesting, but J.K. Rowling sucks. Yeah, and also one of the developers... Uh, Apparently sucked too, and then oh, nice. they uh, they fired that developer, or nice. that developer quit. I forget which, but either way, that developer no longer works for them mm. because they said some anti-trans shit as well. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, that's all I have for Warner Brothers. Mm. The Brothers Warner. Then we get into Capcom. I think Capcom might have some really interesting shit. Uh, we'll probably see a Resident Evil Village DLC. You see RE4 remake. Yeah, RE4 remake for sure. I Monster think, Hunter Rise shit. I think it's time. Monster Hunter full Stories 2. Full 3D. Full 3D. Mega Man. Do they care about Mega Man anymore? I think they're going... They're going to have to. They're going to have to show <laughs> off Mega Man. It's an un... Listen, in case you didn't know... Um... Fuck. Well, it was an Xbox exclusive uh, for Xbox One. ReCore? You know that was gonna be a Mega Man, like a new Mega Man. I don't know what ReCore is. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun game. Like, I had fun with it. It's just like a... It's a definitely a double-A game. It's... The main character, she, uh, she collects cores and, like, fixes up robots and improves her own, like, robotic ability. But in my opinion, that was supposed to be. Um, in your opinion, are yeah. you not basing this off of anything? No, nothing. Just the gameplay and also like you all the not You should, like you should know Luke. Oh. You should know Luke better by now. He doesn't base things off things. He just yeah, says but things. you can't make a 3D game that feels like Mega Man. They've tried it. It didn't feel like Mega Man. Anyway, after like the last after time Cop they did a... is take two. Hmm. Um, Take Two's working on some weird XCOM like game. I don't remember if it's a Marvel IP. They they have some XCOM like game, and then also I maybe we'll see another Bioshock. I think it's time. I think it's time they show off a new Bioshock. I'd love to see another Bioshock, even though Infinite wasn't everything I hoped for. Yeah, I mean it's pretty crazy. I think you see um, potentially a new Max Payne. That take two, yeah. Um, 
I think you see Civilization Seven because once uh, a game goes six is still in his DLC cycle, though. Doesn't matter. I think you see seven. I think this is the end of the DLC cycle. I think you see Civ Seven because Civ Six uh, Platinum Edition is now on Humble Bundle. Yeah. So they once they start like giving it away for free, they're about to release a sequel. That's as far as it. I think they show off NBA 2K, but it's uh. But nobody cares. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people care, but it's just such a fucking cash grab that, like, fuck that game. I think they're going to really push WWE this year, uh, like, hard. Because all the other ones have sucked. I think they probably went to the drawing board with WWE and trying to make one that doesn't suck shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think... If you see GTA 6 or like a hint of GTA 6 at the Xbox One, you might end up seeing something. Because uh, GTA 6 is far in development, like years and years and years in development. So I think you might see a trailer. I don't think it comes out till 2022. But I think you see something about it. Maybe. And then a couple things... They're, they're going to spend some time on like DLC for Red Dead Online. Maybe. But yeah, I think... I think GTA 6 2022. Put it on the put it on the checkerboard thing. I don't know. Well, now we get into Tuesday. And Jonathan's bread and butter. Nintendo Direct. Let's go! I think that... Uh... Breath of the Wild 2 is not coming out, but we'll see something about oh, it. Oh, we will for sure see something. It'd be crazy yeah. if we didn't see it. I don't think it's going to release this year. I, everybody, no, I don't think so. Everybody thinks it will release this year. I don't. I think it'll be spring. I think spring, I think spring 2022. Yep, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I think that's the perfect time for that. I think, think it's going to be release trouble. Do you think it's going to release on the Switch? Yeah, that's what I was yeah, saying. Is like they don't really, is. they really don't have much going on. They're planning on releasing a new Switch. But it's, Switch it's still slow. the same. Yeah, so it's, you, it's a Switch you have to Pro. understand the thing that makes the Switch Pro the Switch Pro, right? Which we'll also see the Switch Pro. Yeah, you'll yeah. see it like that might be the very first thing they announce. I'm yeah. saying like the Switch Pro is like nothing. It's like a, I don't know, like a C version of an iPhone. Like it's it's just like a tiny little upgrade. No, that's, uh, you're wrong. It's not like a C version. It's like an S version. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, here's what you'll see with the Switch Pro. The bezels will extend outward more, so you'll get more of the actual like screen when you're playing in, uh, alone. I think you see the regular Switch drop in price to two fifty. I think the Switch Pro slots in at three fifty, maybe four hundred. If they're crazy, they'll do four hundred. I think four hundred is crazy as fuck. And then I, I think just... you you might see uh, the Switch Lite drop to one eighty. I disagree about the old ones dropping. The whole thing about the Switch is that they're like the only console that actually makes them money off of console sales. I don't think that they yeah, want to get and rid of that. Now it has made them so much money that they will continue to make money even if they drop it to 250 Then they'll be losing money per console sale. No, they won't. They'll still be making money. It's that cheap to make. Oh, yeah. Huh. I'm positive the Switch cost them in the very low 200s to make. Well, if you consider like shipping costs and... So when the Switch came out, it cost them $257 to make, right? Okay, but then you have to ship them and... No, no, no. But that's like everything, right? Is it? So I'm pretty sure it's everything. Maybe not marketing. But you got to think. They're about to slot in... $50 model that probably isn't going to cost them any more than what their previous uh, console cost them. So this is still going to make, be like $250 to make. Right? So they're going to basically make $100 per Switch Pro made. Not, in count, not counting marketing. Now... The actual switch, remember, it cost them two fifty seven in twenty seventeen. I guarantee you, it cost them probably one one seventy to make now for a regular switch. And then the switch light probably cost one forty to make. 
it's obviously not that big of a decrease from uh, from the Switch, so I don't think you'll see the Switch Lite go to 150 or anything crazy like that. But I think you see the Switch Lite drop to like 180. So you got to remember, this is we're four years into the console. You really think they're just going to keep it at 300 forever? Uh, well, I thought. I mean, this is Nintendo that we're talking about. Like they do stupid things. I think you see a slight price bump or a slight price decrease. And I think you see the, the Switch Pro slide in at 350 and maybe 400 But I think the regular Switch goes to 250 The question I have is, do you think the Switch Pro will slot into the Switch dock? Or do you think it has a new dock? I'd be, I'd be surprised if it had a new one. Mm, there is a chip in the dock, though. There's supposedly a chip in the dock. There's no... There's no uh, proof, though. I think it'll be a new dock. Because they said there there was a chip in the first one, and there's no chip in the first one. I think there'll be a new and I I don't know. I think it's a... It'll be interesting to see whether there is or not. I think the thing that will fuck the Switch Pro is if they actually... Ironically, the thing I was like before, like, they need to be on 14 nanometer or 16 nanometer. Why are they on 20... You know, 28 nanometer. I think now, if they made their console at 7 nanometer, they're going to get fucked. <laughs> because there's no capacity at all for 7 nanometer. So if they actually made the console 7 nanometer, that's $400. Without a doubt, they're going to make the Switch Pro $400. Like a solid $400. To make up for the fact that they can't sell enough. But yeah, I I think the Switch Pro, the thing, like, Jonathan, the big thing you have to realize about the Switch Pro is that it is going to have higher resolution, which is, like, their big thing. I don't care about the, the handheld, like... Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I, I, I don't think most people do, which is why I don't... Oh, and the other thing is, I have of course, double the frame rate. And yeah, sure, but I mean, like, a bigger... People... Like, does the higher resolution really matter on a small screen? It matters on less small to screen, me. Um, so here's the thing. The screen is now going to be, like, perceivably, per perceptively, if you will, about 50% bigger from the rumors. Is that, a, is that, like, a good thing, though? Because, like, then it's just too big. Like, I already but think it's the, the exact is... same size. Then how is the screen bigger? Because the screen is bigger. I'll have to look at the switch because it to me. Like, I don't look really... at your switch and look at all of the bezel. Imagine almost all that bezel gone. It's not fifty percent. It's it's perceptively it's fifty percent bigger. Okay, this, is, this is a lot of switch. Like, you're gonna talk. you're gonna perceive okay. that it's fifty. I know what you mean, but like, how in the what way does not fifty percent perceivedly be fifty percent? So in reality, it's only probably gonna be twenty five percent bigger. There's no way it's twenty five percent. Look at your switch. I'm pulling it out right now. Anyway, now we're also going to see the Diamond the Pro remake. Yeah, I'm. I'm not very excited for that. It's like it's honest. like half an inch, and then like uh, it's half 70, an inch in every direction. Half an inch in the top and bottom, seventy five percent of an inch on the sides. Okay, so now you add that to each side, and you but redo the, the, the screen the itself is like. It's about five, and it'll go to about six point nine or something like that. We can look it up real quick. Switch screen size. But honestly, like even if that is the case, I don't see that as a big deal. Yeah, it's going to uh, be about a seven inch compared to a six point two. Okay. I think no, nobody cares about this. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be cool. If people really are into Switch gaming, they're going to get one. Nobody's really think... into Switch gaming, though. Nobody gets a Switch because they're, like, diehard Switch fans. They get a Switch oh, because they... they're Nintendo fans. And Nintendo fans don't care about, like, resolution and, like, nobody... The Nintendo fans know, just care about the games. But so they're really not gonna... the only thing that matters is if there's any games released, and I don't think that there will yeah, be. Let's talk about the games that are coming out. And therefore, I don't think that the uh, that I mean, Nintendo's going to be. That's killing. fair. 
I mean, I think you put that pretty well there in that, but I think you saying like, oh, it doesn't make a difference because it's not bigger and not like better looking. It's going to look bigger and better looking. But I think I agree with you with what you just said, where Nintendo is probably the least important for that. But yeah, let's get into the games. Uh, so Diamond Pearl Remix, which, why? Who cares? Uh, I, I like I like the remix of Pokemon no, games. I think Although I don't like recent. I, 3D Pokemon is kind of the. Yeah, I don't I don't love Diamond and Pearl, so a remake doesn't entice me for that one. Uh, but Pokemon Arceus, I'm interested to see. Yeah, me too. And that that game's pretty far along. I think that'll come out this year. Maybe. Pretty cool. Not that I can play it this year, but that'd be cool. Fair enough. Um, and we'll probably see Splatoon three. That's exciting. I don't know, man. I, I think Splatoon... I don't think we'll see Splatoon 3. I don't know. I, I, think, I think we could. Don't they... Do they already they have a Splatoon on the Switch, though? Did they already announce Splatoon 3 as like being a thing? I don't remember. I'll have to look into it. Um, oh, they did. You're right. So I think yeah. you will see more Splatoon. Because the thing about Splatoon 3, to me, is that it's going to be like a really quick and dirty... like turnaround so i think it, it will probably come out this year as well but then most importantly will we see a new smash character oh probably I, I think so, yeah. here here's my big uh guess right i think Sora super smash. smash super smash kart comes out <laughs> what or a new Just super mario brothers mario kart with all the smash characters yeah with all the nintendo characters and maybe sonic and some other shit that would be interesting, but I don't think they'll do it. I don't know. Unless it's like they a already, battle they already have a They already have a karting game. Huh? Like, uh, that's... They already have what? They already have a karting game. And it will be called Mario Kart 9. Okay, so you're thinking Mario Kart 9 has, like, more characters? I think it'll have, like, every character. I think that's going to be its main thing. And I think Mario Kart is one of those games where... Mario Kart. Oh. You know, when did Mario Kart 8 come out? Years ago, it was like a, ten years ago. No, yeah, it was not, on. Not it was, ago, but it was a Wii it was, title. No, Mario Kart Eight, I think, was ten years old. No, there's no way. It's Mario Kart Eight. Okay, it's seven, seven years old. We are due for a new one, but I don't know if we'll see it. Oh, I think, I think this is the longest period we've ever went without a new Mario Kart. Uh, maybe. What, do you, what do you think the gimmick's going to be? So you think the gimmick's going to be just more characters? Yeah, I think it's going to be more characters. I think they'll add some new power-ups in. I think, uh, you know, you'll have all the maps from 8 plus, like, maybe double. You think you get all of them? That's never been the case for Mario Kart. Yeah, Nintendo also doesn't give a fuck. Did you see the new Mario Party? <laughs> hmm? Yeah, the new Mario Party was kind of tragic. I didn't see it. I don't pay attention. It has to such. three maps and they never added any more content to it. But that's because it never sold well. Have you seen Super Smash Brothers uh, Ultimate? No, never heard of it. What is that? I, I'm pretty sure they add characters to that all the time. They uh, add new content to it all the time, etc. So, you know, it just depends. Nintendo will, Nintendo's very much like Google in that respect, where they will just fucking drop something. Yeah. Like, if it doesn't do well... They just work in secrecy and... Oh, oh you can drop it, like... Yeah, oh, yeah, no. You. As soon as it does bad, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like, oh, it's not doing well? Cancel it, fuck it, get yes. rid of it. For sure. Um, that's, all, that's all the guesses I have for Nintendo. I think... Um, I think... New Pikmin? You, maybe, maybe New Pikmin. But I think more likely you'll see actual gameplay of Metroid. That would be nice, uh, but Metroid's in hell, know. trapped. Are forever. they? Are they working on that? <laughs> they, yeah. Yes, they've scrapped it and redone it. <laughs> yeah, I think that was once or like once two or years twice. ago, or maybe three. Oh, longer. Oh, okay, then maybe. The, oh, Metroid's been in development forever. They fully destroyed the game and redid it. Well, I knew that. That's what I was saying. Like, yeah, I, I didn't been, think it's been years it now. Yeah, it's been a long time. Like since yeah. they announced, I think it was 2018 when they announced. So three years ago when they announced that it was scrapped. Yeah, and yeah. it had been working on for years before that. 
It could have been it, 2019. It could, I think it could have been 2017. <laughs> Do you think it's going to be its own engine? Um, yeah. It's Nintendo. They'll make it their own like Nintendo-esque engine. Definitely. Oh, maybe it was scrapped in 2019. Well, I don't know. Recently they've been... Uh, so like the new Pokemon game that's like in the Breath of the Wild engine. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I was Arceus. thinking. I was thinking that they might do something where they use like. It might be modified Breath of the Wild engine. Really, I was thinking modified Odyssey. Yeah, yeah, that's possible too. That was that was my guess. Or exactly. they could go Unreal. They they have been doing Unreal Engine games for a while now. Have they? Which one? Oh yeah, uh, they did. Um, fuck, uh, Yoshi's, the new Yoshi game. Yoshi World. Crafted World. Yep. Oh, cool. whatever the fuck. No, I think Worldly World was for Wii U. It was the yeah, Crafted World is right. Whatever one it was. <laughs> yeah, and then I think one of I think Mario Party was as well as another like smaller one. Kirby. I don't remember the name of it. Kirby All Stars. Yeah, yeah. Kirby was also Unreal. Hmm. So after Nintendo, we get to the last show, which this show will be my biggest nut. Of E3. Okay. Bandai Namco. Uh, if they don't show off, and I, you know, Xbox might show off something before this, but I actually am pretty excited for Scarlet Nexus. Yes. I'm, I played the demo and I actually really like it. I'm going Ooh. to get it. Um, yeah, yeah, there's, there's a demo. You should play it. Demo, but... It's pretty short and gives you an idea of like the combat and stuff. Cool. But I think, um, I think we're it we're due for a new Galaga. Maybe. I mean we're gonna see so we'll see Scarlet Nexus, we'll see Tales of Arise, we'll see Elden Ring for sure at Bandai. Yeah. Um you think we'll see a new Digimon world? No, but I'd love that. Wish. <laughs> I think Digimon is kind of uh Jonathan, why the fuck haven't you played the new Digimon? Wait, no, they still make they still make Digimon games. I don't own it. They still make Didn't Digimon you buy the wrong one? You bought like Digimon Cyber Sleuth? I did, yeah. Oh, Cyber Sleuth is good though. It's what? fine, but it's, it's very cool. different. Kidding? It's very different, but it's fun. Yeah, it's not. The story weird. like is super annoying. Super so far, annoying. I only played like twenty minutes of it and got super annoyed and stopped. Wait, did you buy the first one or the second one? Uh, the first. Wait, was it? Did you story Cyber Sleuth or did you story Hacker's Memory? No, Cyber Sleuth. Wait, how did you buy the wrong game? Uh, because it was you, on sale. I just did you know that Digimon, Digimon and, so World it on, has a world in the name? I wasn't specifically trying to get Digimon World. Like I just got in the Digimon. You said that there was a 3D Digimon. I didn't think that Digimon was still alive. Well, so all the I Digimon saw... are 3D except for Digimon World Two, right? Uh, when I saw a 3D Digimon, I was like, "Oh, this has got to yeah. be what you're talking about." And nope. then you're like, "Digimon certain... World Next Order." Yeah, but you should have checked. Should have and... should have just asked us. We told. Well, you. apparently, it's good according to you. Oh, I love it because it's it's such a throwback. No, no, I'm talking about. The, the cyber sleuth i mean i i like cyber sleuth i haven't finished it yet because i'm erratic and jump around from games um i liked it it's very different to digimon world though so if you're looking for a digimon world experience it is not bad not necessarily but like how did you get past the writing you're such a stickler for writing um i i mean the writing isn't that bad it's not great but it's not that bad Are, really really you sure it wasn't just the performance you didn't like uh, might be, but I remember the writing being pretty bad. Although Digimon isn't. I think you were also just maybe butt mad because you picked the wrong game. Yeah, that oh. could have also been it. Do you maybe. think we see a new Common Rider? Another what? Common Rider. Oh. I think we might. I think it's time. But I think you know what I would love. Speaking of world, go games, for it. A new Pac-Man world. True. Yeah. I, I love think, those games. I don't think it'll be a thing. No, they they, they definitely won't. But I would love it. What about this? Okay, a new Golden Axe. Maybe I don't. I don't not honestly. Like I don't really anticipate Bandai Namco like dropping something super surprising for like an old IP. Really, I I think now is the time. You you gotta. I just don't think know. they'll do it. You don't think they'll go for like a, no. a new? Uh, Neo oh, they'll probably show Bless Unleashed since they publish that. Hmm. 
Ooh, oh, do you think we'd see a new Nino Cooney? They published that, right? I don't know. I think they did the first one. I don't know if they did the second one. Nino Cooney 2. They definitely did the first one. Oh. New publisher. No, it's Bandai Namco still. I think... All right, so this is this is my thing, right? And I know you say Sony's not doing anything for E3. But they're obviously partnering with third third and second parties. Um, but those aren't Sony. To announce stuff. They've games. already announced a few things. Like, none of those um, will be Sony first-party game. Okay, but... And I, I don't think any of them... I don't know how many of them would even be exclusives. I mean, I didn't know if FF16 was exclusive. Yeah, Final Fantasy 16 is a PlayStation exclusive. It might be coming to uh like Epic Games cuz that seems to be like a thing lately. Um a thing nonetheless, I suppose, but I think oh it's time Sony, exclusive. I think Sony needs to nut up and ask Level 5 to do the impossible. Dark Cloud 3. I think it's Dark Cloud 3 time. I mean, <laughs> I knew it. They, they need to fucking do it. Oh, I still need to play Dark Cloud 2. I played a bit of it. You know, I, I think... If, if Sony is doing... Because here's the thing. Like, when, it, when a company's winning, I know it's like a lot of times they... It's the same thing that happened with, like, the Xbox One. They just get, like, cocky and like, I don't need to do shit. To, like, I disagree. Like, Sony's still releasing a ton of games. They are, but they're releasing games at the same pace as they were. Yeah, but Xbox with, like, isn't releasing PS4. games at a pace. I don't know. I, I saw I an they're... article this morning that said Xbox wants to release a game every three months, and I laughed because I was like, can you release a game? Yeah, they already have. What? <laughs> Medium. I guess. Medium was okay. That's another game I didn't finish. Hmm? I said Medium was okay. That's another game I didn't finish. Medium's fine. I was I had no problems with it at all. It's did you, just, did you uh, finish it? No. Oh. I have a ton of games I haven't finished though. You know me. Like if I had like strength, video game strength, I would totally do it. Anyway, I don't have anything else to talk about. Um I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue doing what I'm saying. And that's okay. I Dude. think I think PlayStation, if they're going to do it right, and they're going to put Xbox down, they need to smack. Like what they've shown is fine. That's what I feel. I, I feel want like Xbox to start releasing games. I think that's a an inevitable thing. That'd be great. Even if I don't play them, I want them to, to release games. I think Xbox will release more games than Sony this year. That's my like. This Guaranteed. year, like twenty twenty one. This year, yes. Like the next year, or in these next six months. Like this very year. I disagree. We'll publish more games than Sony. If you, unless you count like indie indie games. Like what was the one game they talked about from Sony? Uh, Sony Indies. The it released like yesterday. The painting game. Yeah. That one, which again, they brought into a non Sony uh, conference. And I think they'll do that again multiple times because, to be honest, even if uh, you think, like, oh, you know, uh, Microsoft's blowing hot smoke, if they're not, and you're Sony. Okay, but a game every three months is still trouble. only two games. Every three months? There's only six months left in the year. I think it's going to come down to what. Do they consider Microsoft published? I think Microsoft published is okay, but their uh, first party games, not Bethesda games. Ratchet and Clank comes out tonight. Forbidden West that'll comes be, out this year, so that'll be two. Um, no, 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 no. Actually, that's not true. No, no, no. Uh, that got pushed back. That's what been no Ragnar Ragnarok got pushed back. No, no, no. They both got pushed back. No, Forbidden West up. has not been pushed back. Forbidden West does not have a release date. It's going. Uh, it still says twenty twenty one. If it goes twenty twenty one, it'll be like December. We'll it see. Is, well, it's still playing for twenty twenty one. Um, there's that spirit, the spirit game, the the girl with the the crystal stick. Mm -hmm. I, I forget. Uh, oh, here it is. Kina Bridge of Spirits. Okay. The Sony game. Um, uh, what's the 2D platformer that's very similar in name that comes out this year from Microsoft? 
I don't know. That's not a lot to go on. I I I think it's unlikely that Microsoft publishes more games this year. I think they they do it this year, and I think because what does Bethesda even have coming out this year other than Ghostwire Tokyo? If that comes out this year, we'll see. I think it'll get pushed back, and then it'll be made in Microsoft exclusive, and they'll go back on their word. Okay, but oh, but my point is, you said Bethesda will release games. What does Bethesda have this year other than Ghostwire Tokyo? I think there's a chance that uh, Starfield does. You, Starfield is not coming out this year. So, You're out of your fucking mind. I'm pretty Microsoft sure they've said it's 2022. Done, Microsoft has already done. Uh, Starfield launches late 2022. Hmm? Starfield launches late 2022. You think that? It, I'm literally reading a report right now. But by who? Uh, Bloomberg's Jason Schreier. That's not... Jason Schreier's been wrong tons of times. He does stuff on tech, and he's wrong all the time on tech. Pretty sure he's right he a lot said, games. He said Ampere would be out in 2022, like, and that came out last year. There's no way Starfield comes out this year. I think there's a chance. No chance. We'll have to see. I'm not saying there's a high likelihood, but I think there's about a 10% chance it does. That'd be crazy. If it does, it's like December this year, and I think it won't be ready. Listen, I really do believe they're talking shit about me, so I have to like leave. I have to turn them down. But uh, where is it? Anyway, I'm ready to end this episode. No, listen, I'll make a bet. Mm-hmm. Sony will not release as many first party titles. Okay, what are you considering first party for Sony, and what are you considering first party for Xbox? Like released. I consider anything that's directly owned by Sony or anything that's directly owned by Microsoft. Mm, I mean, maybe in that case, because Sony doesn't own a lot of the IPs they publish, but they're still first party. And if it's an IP, I will give you that if it's an IP that they own, but like had another company make it, that counts as first party. Because it's obviously not going to, uh, what do you call it? It's not going to move, you know? It's like Metroid. Like, technically, do they own Platinum? Or uh, whoever's making um, Metroid 4? Sony does not own Platinum, no. But still, technically, like... Bayonetta 3, right? That's one we forgot. I think Bayonetta 3 doesn't come out this year. There's serious problems with that game. I mean, like that that, that'll be a Nintendo play. exclusive. Hmm? I want to play Bayonetta 2, but I can't because I don't have my Switch. Real bummer. I mean, it's also out on the Wii U. <laughs> I don't own a Wii U. <laughs> I think that uh, unrelated to E3, but kind of, I feel like Switch really got lucky in that the Wii U was as unpopular as it was with as many games that were pretty good. So that like when the Switch launched, they could just like, let's just release Wii U games. Hmm. And they did phenomenally, <laughs> like being at a one and two collection or whatever. Like, yep. We basically just re-released this game and it did 10 million copies at full price. Which is just insanity. Like, if anyone else tried that, it would not work. And also, to rip into Nintendo more, this fucking, like, remaking Diamond and Pearl and releasing both at 60 is fucking madness. Can we stop this? <laughs> okay, but, like, you guys know that when Pokemon does a remake, like, they don't just release the same thing with, like... No shit, but they're, they're making both games $60, is what I'm saying. Yeah, they do that every time. Yeah, Why like, wouldn't they just really? What is it? Heart time? Gold and Soul Silver was absolutely worth the price. Like it was so Perfect. different than than, uh, you know, than Silver and Gold. Like it was Heart Gold and Soul Silver were excellent games. Like I agree. I agree for Heart Gold and Soul Silver because it had been a really long time. I think but Alpha Sapphire. Those games on DS. 
Yeah, I agree. Alpha Sapphire and uh, Omega Ruby were dog water, but that doesn't mean that Diamond and uh, Pearl. But Diamond and Pearl are them. worse base games than Ember. I don't. And Sapphire I think that that's a hot take. That's a lot of people's favorite. It's not mine, but it's my generation, like my class. That's yeah, but like fuck you, Zoomers. Yeah, you <laughs> fucking Zoom. But no, more importantly, <laughs> listen to this, okay? That's like a lot of people's. So favorite. you you had Pokemon Diamond and it's Pearl. Gonna did, do it, well. did it have a middle game? Emerald is my favorite. Uh, Diamond. So Pearl... yes, Emerald, right? No, Emerald was for Sapphire Ruby. Okay, did Diamond and Pearl have one? Um, I don't think so. No. Platinum, maybe? Oh, yeah, Platinum might have been Diamond Pearl. It's hard to remember. Diamond Pearl. Uh, yes, Platinum. Okay, so here's my problem. Why are, why are they releasing on. two versions rather than just a remake of the better version? They could just do well because the Pokemon so Platinum the thing with like Emerald and Platinum oh, and stuff is it's, they still don't have everything. Yeah, yeah, but my my problem is they're not going to they remake just, Platinum. Why couldn't they just release Platinum with everything? Because they want money. Because they're literally taking advantage of like the autistic community. Yeah, they want money. Well, I don't know if that's 100% true, just because I think that what? also a part... I mean, that's probably a part of it, but, like, oh, another part I mean, is, that is like, the reason Pokemon still releases with two versions. Maybe, but also, like... There's now that, no reason anymore. Okay, listen! Let me get it out! Jesus, fuck! Uh, they have online trading, and they've made trading easier and easier. It's now not a big deal that you can't get Pokemon, because you can just trade them. Like, you can put up the equivalent, like... It like take um so like one version has uh, Alakazam, the other has Gengar. You can you can trade you know one for the other. It's not a big deal anymore. That's more of a reason to not release two separate games. But it in, but it increases the community incentive to trade and to like have battles with each other. It it increases the community to like. That is not the reason they do. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I the community has nothing to do with it. They do it because there's a lot of people who are friendless. Who want you don't to have, have to things. have friends. That's what I'm saying. You don't need that anymore. You need a fucking internet connection. And if you're playing a video game, I think you probably have that. I literally know people who will just buy both because they need both. Like, physically, like, I need to have both. Okay, I think that that isn't a thing on Nintendo. I think that's a thing on your friends. I still think that's the reason Nintendo does it. They do it because most people who are huge Nintendo fans buy both. I don't think that that's true. I wouldn't true. say most, but they do it because people will buy both. Maybe. I don't think it says nefarious. If you're, gonna, if you're going to release two games, no, and here's the thing that bothers me. Like you said, the, the, the reason to own both now is, is limited, right? Compared to before. But yeah. even more, like, these are full-priced games. When... when Pokemon Diamond and Pearl came out. Those were thirty, forty dollars. I've already gone through this. They change a lot. And again, like there no, they can don't. be good ones. There can no, be no. They change. Ones. They change a lot. Are you they kidding change, me? Have they, you even played Heart a Gold? Lot. Heart like Heart Gold Soul Silver. They changed so much. They they combined. It's two also games a huge upgrade. One. Yes, like, and it, like it's a big difference. Fucking in yeah. Heart Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh, not Heart Gold Soul. Gold and Silver were fucking Game Boy Color games. <laughs> like not to mention like they the game itself has changed like they have new types they have new pokemon and now you can play the original games with this new type like i whoa, think whoa, whoa, there's so... a very real basically i see it like a card game I'm not pokemon... saying they didn't change the game from game to game i'm saying between those two games like if you take uh, i don't know gold and silver very little is different between gold and silver well, no, they release oh. at the same time. There's no time between them. There's almost no, nothing. What I'm saying is, they it's just some Pokemon. The games, they they could have done something where, like, oh, well, either, both of them are actually in different towns. Okay, but and to, they're like, but to me, know. it's not a big deal because it's like the the what what is your problem with it being two different games? Is it the that's difference why they in need to release Overwatch uh, Black is... and Overwatch Green at the same time? Um, okay, and but the thing I'm, is, I'm, some I characters just... will be on one, and some characters will be. But on that's not how it is. I just skins. don't. When you get the skins, you can trade skins. Then it doesn't so, matter. Then it's fine. But you still can't get... No, it's not fine. I think it's definitely just a marketing gimmick. It's a marketing gimmick 100%. Okay, but I think that it's evolved past that. 
like it I don't might think so. it, I, think I think that it's, yes, it's evolved it, into more I think you're giving them a I, lot of credit cuz Nintendo no, 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 fucking I'm not blows. saying that I'm not saying Nintendo like themselves are like aha we're doing this for the community I'm just saying that now because of this other stuff that they have done they've unintentionally made it so that it doesn't matter I don't know man I mean like you don't really play Pokemon do you I have I every do. Pokemon other than the new one, the brand new one. I play it. Pokemon. Okay, do you have an issue getting any Pokemon that you want? Ever? I don't like that I have to trade with yeah, someone I to do it. Yeah, I can get a shiny. Well, that, so, okay, that's a different it's thing. It's so easy. There's, you can honestly trade your starter yes, for a Yes, but I'd rather, when I buy a game, game, be able to get all the things in the game. Yeah, and also, why would I want to buy a game to... To, like in uh the last one for damn this uh, is it's DS. crazy it's crazy that we're playing counter Why? strike i just want to play a game and not have to worry about having to play with other people like it's like you can do that okay okay oh sorry jonathan i forgot when you trade pokemon with people you're growing a lasting friendship and not seeing their username pop up for three seconds and then never think about them again yeah Okay, you're but not, like, there's no you definitely play like with them play. what is the imagine, difference hold on. what is imagine the difference in between pokemon Catching a Pokemon and trading it to you. Like, why is that different? Because in one, I'm playing the goddamn game that I bought. Yeah, and the other, I'm just trading. <laughs> and I feel like that... What was it, Black and White 2, the last one on DS? Or but Pokemon, at its heart, is a card game. Like, it, that's what it is. No, it's not. The Pokemon card game is a card game. No, no, no. Game. I'm <laughs> saying the Pokemon themselves. Like, every fucking game is just an expansion with different Pokemon and different moves. It's just a fucking card game. Like It's an RPG. Like an old school RPG, I wouldn't consider it a card game at all. I wouldn't. There's no like card you need to do it in a. No, not like a literally a card. You, you just like Pokemon's have their four things, and each Pokemon themselves is kind of like a card with just like an ability. Okay, man. Yeah, but do you know what's interesting about card games? When I play what? them, I can get all the cards. I don't have to trade with people. I can trade with people, but I don't have. You know, to. it's interesting. What do they call card games sometimes? Trading card games. Do you know what Pokemon oh. video game isn't? Pokemon video game isn't a fucking trading card game. I, I think they're very similar. So you're saying yeah. if you if you played Hearthstone and you could only get certain cards by trading with people and you weren't allowed to get them on your own ever, you'd be like, yes, this is a fine mechanic. And both both Hearthstone versions cost they're... sixty fucking dollars, mind you. Uh, if the entire game was free and you didn't have to pay for Pokemon's that. not free! <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about, like, you buy Hearthstone and then you just unlock the packs by gameplay. Like, yeah, that'd be fine. Why is and that you can, And you can keep there, getting, on, and you can keep no getting cards. There's ever. no limit. There's no limit to any cards other than legendaries. And the only there's only, like, two legendaries that are game-specific. Because in the remakes, they have a bunch of fucking legendaries, and those legendaries are the same. Like, any Legendary that wasn't in the original game that they add, because they do add a fuck ton, both games have them. And the only one the that really is different Like, you're defending the their bad business practice is madness. I, that's also, that's not true of every new game. It might be true of the remakes, but, like, I know Sun and Moon had I, multiple I'm talking sources. specifically about the remakes. I think that uh, this is a more apt uh, thing to say about the original games. But you're saying this about the remakes specifically. Yeah, because think, it's crazy to port this idea also, over into the remakes. The original games. I'm telling you, the remakes, less. it's so much less of a deal because they, they have so many things in place that just make it not a thing. So you agree then? There should only be one version of the game. In the original game? Sure. No, in now. Remakes, in the no. remakes, I don't think it matters. What can it matter for one and not the other? He, in he the original, told us the original, there's more. Uh, things separate like you don't get all of the legendaries like the game itself is a smaller game um, the remakes are always larger they always give you more they always add a bunch of shit so the remakes are always more of a game than the original always every time yeah but if it, hold on i'm not a disagreeing with you but i don't think that changes why one game you would have you know two games and one you wouldn't I mean, at least for the old games, they have the excuse of like, well, the cartridge size isn't big enough to hold everything. That's bullshit, and you know it. But if there's, I know saying, it's bullshit. If you're saying it in general, then I guess I can agree. Heart Gold but has 16 started, exclusive Pokemon. Well, you started this not complaining about Pokemon in general. You started this complaining hold on, hold on. specifically about the remake, oh, saying why doesn't the remake really? Heart Gold has 16 exclusive Pokemon and five, ten, fifteen. 
20, 25, 30. It looks like 35 Pokemon that can only be gained from events or trading from Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. Okay, but trading isn't what we're talking about. We're talking about exclusive. Also, how yes, many exclusives that you can only be... get by trading. That's exactly what we're talking about. How many of those are legendary? Also, 16, not that many fucking Pokemon, especially when, like, they all but have... there are people who literally need to have every single one. That's, like, 15% of the Pokedex for that game. Uh, oh, Pokedex is huge. It's, like, 16. How many of them are legendary? Is, 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 is it a world Pokedex, or is it... Uh, what, what the like? fuck is... Wait, why is Kyogre in this game? Because they added so much shit. That's okay, well, that's a legendary. What, what is the Heart Gold legendary even called? Uh, it's uh, well, you actually get both. It's uh, Lugia and Ho, -Oh, but in that oh, game right. you get both. Okay, so Ky Kyogre and Groudon are the two exclusives that are on one of the either versions. For some reason, they just made those legendaries on the versions, and then the event Pokemon are Mew, Celebi, but both can do Jirachi. The event Pokemon, so that doesn't matter. That's but there, it's still an exclusive thing that I think event? is bad design. That is their dumb marketing bullshit. And some of that's, these are some of these a, are that's a community thing. Like the your limit. I don't. I don't think the event thing is as bad if it happened every year. But the fact that they yeah. could be like event happens once ever and then we're never doing it again. Get fucked. I think that's. Bad. I don't. I don't see an issue with that. It's a community event. If it's in the Pokédex, I think it's annoying. Do you have a, Do you have an issue with community event skins? Um, there's no Pokédex for skins. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a collection. For and skins. also, community event skins come around again. That's what I'm saying. Pokémon events come don't come year. around again. Also, like collecting Pokémon in the sense to fill the Pokédex. Like, I get that there's people. Who Are you about to say it's game. not the point of the game because the taglines literally gotta catch them That's all? Not what I'm saying. I'm saying like. I think that it's wild that you're dying on this hill when, like, the game itself is so many other things. Like, the fact that there's, like, IVs and EVs and, like, you can get... I'm dying on this hill because this is the thing we were talking about. <laughs> I'm not saying it's the only problem with Pokemon. Yeah, but, like, God. this is Listen. such a non-problem compared to everything else. That's my entire point. This it's a non-problem to you. I think it's a dumb thing. I think it's, like, a little silly, but I don't think it's that big a deal, especially... I don't know what you guys are, like, I understand what you guys are talking arena. about, but again, at the end of the day, there should only be one Pokemon game anymore. Sure, yeah, I can agree with that. That's all I'm trying to say. That's my whole point, like, that's... But you don't agree with that, because you still think the remakes should be split versions. I, well, because they're remakes of the originals. Which yes, but they could just remake Platinum. But they, they already changed so much, why but couldn't Platinum they Platinum doesn't change? have everything, you just said that. Yeah, but they, they, they just put everything. all the shit in Platinum. They could, but like, it's not that big a deal. Which is No, because they're doing it because they want more money, because they want people to buy both versions. I'm sure, but... I'm shocked does, they don't if release... If anybody does that because they feel they need to catch the Pokemon, then they are actually stupid, because but, you can get... But the they're Pokemon exploiting those people, is, is the okay. point. Excluding stupid people, guess what? Ex a lot of things do that, and you guys don't like. I anything that exploits that. stupid people is wrong. So I don't hear you complaining about like skins, loot boxes all the time. I have like, complained about loot boxes. Do. <laughs> we literally just went over how Overwatch is dumb for having loot boxes. What about this? Predatory. What about CSGO? Also dumb. Yes. CSGO. Yeah. No. Okay. What about WoW being monthly? I mean, he might be fine. With I feel that. like it I, I don't like on when subscription specifically. So if you're talking about like, I think you never get enough now. Of a monthly subscription very, very program. predatory. Like, WoW turned into up until WoW's first expansion, it being monthly made sense because they legitimately had giant, giant updates every month. And then with the first, uh, the first well, expansion, I think it's strange that you're willing to die on this hill for a company's predatory practices. I'm not. I'm actually just literally telling you straight up. I mean, I don't play that, a lot, so you can't say I'm dying on the sill. Yeah, no, I mean, no, you, you no, have no, nothing no, to. You have nothing no, to. I think. I think if you release an MMO, it should either be free to play with an advanced version you can pay for, yeah, but don't there have should to. Should never be or an expansion a pack. paid version that is then free after that, and could have X packs, but not a monthly subscription if you pay for the game. There should. I think never should be one of the X. There should literally never be an X-Pack. No, if it's a big expansion to the game, I think no, 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 it's no, like no. paying for DLC. Like, that's if it's a monthly payment system... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. It there should, should be never yes. have an X-Pack. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. One WoW. or the other. Like, with WoW, Vanilla WoW, every single month, there was a giant content update with tons of, tons of new stuff. Like, no game has ever had that kind of thing again since WoW. But then, once they started doing the X-Pack... 
they slow down the content updates. So it went from like, oh, we'll do literally one, like a brand new raid, a brand new instance, all this new, like, uh, we raise the level cap, we do all this other new stuff. And then all of a sudden with the X-Pack, it's like, well, we're going to release an X-Pack every two years. We're going to come out with an update every like four months. Back to Pokemon for just a quick second. I think that trading with players is a part of the game. Like you, you guys both were like, I agree. So what you do is you lower the drop rates of Pokemon. Yeah, wait, what? Of certain Pokemon, yeah. Mm. Then it's just grindy. Yeah, I don't agree. With it. It's not. I think that that makes for a worse game. I I think they want trading to be part of the game, but. Trading is so almost irrelevant to the game, other than the it's fact so that you have to trade now. to fill out your Pokedex. It's fast it's so now, fast. yes, but like you're you're not again. Like this is a social element where you never are forming any social bond with the person you're trading with. You are using them as a trade and nothing else. You can you get you, their, oh your, come on you can battle, you have can you battle. have you ever messaged or battled the person that you traded with? No. <laughs> yeah. But why is that why is that a big deal? Like um because there's games that like called Tam Tam that are out that or Tem Tam Tam that literally shit on Pokemon as far as like community go. Listen, when I played RuneScape as a kid and I needed to sell my twelve hundred lobsters, I made friends for life, Jonathan. I'm sure. I'm not saying it's the best it can be. I'm just saying it's not even an issue. And it I know you're defending I it because it has this trading, but it has a bad trading aspect to cover yeah, for a shitty decision. I don't think that it's a made. bad trading aspect. I it is, enjoy. It is a horrible, I enjoy horrible trading aspect. I enjoy not being able to do the same thing to fill out my Pokedex. I enjoy so having. So, at what point do they just say like, "Well, you just pay for this Pokemon now"? You because don't. It's effectively it. the exact same thing. You're just trading. No. You're just trading your time. Trading your time. Okay, then playing the game is fucking trading your time. Do you, yeah, do, do you think but that's the whole thing that we're saying? What do you mean? Do, you, do you know what I think would be a better... Uh, it like, could be an auto-clicker. Like, what the fuck? Like, they could do, they could do way it. better social aspects. They could have uh, exclusive Pokemon as rewards for, like, fighting in tournaments with people. Like, actual people? That'd be awesome. That'd be uh, so cool. They could have a Pokemon that is, like, a male and female one each version and to hatch an egg of the other type for yourself you have to do tag team battles with another player so they interact and get player, to know each other real player. Yes. imagine that that would be these, fucking these, incredible, are all, wouldn't these are all excellent ideas i think that they're better than the trading yes because the trading is bad now it's just you the press a button and then you go to a faceless I, person i would rather i would rather take the trading and like not being able the to trading i think was better when everybody was like when there wasn't internet and you had to trade yeah, with a core a yeah. It's crazy that you're saying that because that makes the predatoriness way worse. Because if you don't have friends, then you can't do no, it. No, no, because it, this we were kids that had people at school more. who did have the other game. Yeah, I think it's oh, bad. Really it's bad now. Pokemon. Interesting because it's bad now because we're older. Before uh, people didn't play video games that were older and didn't have friends. No, no, that's what I'm saying. It's bad for older people, certainly. But I think that's a better way than just the faceless trading. It's a more social way. Maybe, but I think that it was worse before and is better now. And it's kind of weird to me that you're saying it's better now. It's it's easier now. It's there less. It's far less social better now. now. It's far I mean, that's less. That's what happens. Social. It's only you know. Uh, but you're you're defending it as a social now. decision, which it's not. It's a community thing. No, it's because not. It doesn't form it's a community. Not. I can literally. You're I don't me, you're telling me like okay. So you can't find a Pokemon, like, your Pokedex isn't... When did they up. add the random Pokemon trades, where you could just fucking randomly throw a Pokemon you in and, like... Me off. I'm level fucking two... I have a level two ride well, trading it for a fucking level 70 rate You battled Baza, somebody like, who had a Pokemon that you want that is you don't have in your decks, you look at it, uh, what do you do? Like, there's no area that's lighting up on your map, what do you do? Cry. For what? You go on fucking line and you go like this Pokemon. Oh, you find out it's another version. Guess what you just did? You entered a community wiki, you entered a community thing. Maybe you You look up oh, you season. looked up information, you did not enter a community. Yeah, no. Those are different things. Maybe if you like, if you don't interact with the community, you are not part of the community. Then I guess I'm nev I was never part of the Minecraft community. You never talked to anybody on Minecraft and played on servers. Uh, not for years. 
Okay, then you weren't until you did it. (laughs) If you only played single player, no, you weren't part of the Minecraft community. Even if I kept up with it and I played the game all the time. If you never... I I supported people who made content, like, and I, you know, like, I was just never part of the community. Okay. Uh, Supporting people who make content is probably an argument for being in the community. Just oh, playing single just player. Looking at a Wikipedia article or whatever. If I if I play a single about, player game and I read the updates, like, I'm not about, in the community. What about uh, correcting uh, wiki, wiki articles or? Yeah, you know, that like, counts. Sure, I yeah. think that counts. Did you ever do that? You're providing information. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Sure. Not for Minecraft. But I'm just well, then, a like, uh, like uh, you're you're on the wikis. You're gonna be led to forums. Like I think that it's an entry point. Okay, but just reading information on a forum. Does not make you a part saying, of the community. I'm saying it's an entry point. I think. Okay, if but if you really never enter, make... then you haven't entered the community. You have to take the entry if, point. If you really wanted to so make something that, that was right, crazy, community. So you're driven. saying you're saying that if somebody who likes Pokemon, who doesn't care about the community, buys the game, doesn't want to interact with the community at all, it's predatory that they have to buy two games. Sure, I guess I can agree with that, but at the same time, why the fuck are you playing Pokemon? Because they like Pokemon. That's... What do you mean? Single player game. It's entirely single player, essentially. Yeah, ninety-nine point nine percent of the game is single player. It would be fully single player if not for the forced trading to get the other. Any, but the single player part of Pokemon is the worst part of Pokemon. It's I disagree. The I vastly prefer the dumbest it. part. I gotta you catch can, them all, Jonathan. Dude, you could just be over leveled and beat your way through the entire thing. If catching them all is like the thing that you're most worried about, it's not even hard. It's just like. It, there's nothing to it. It's yeah, there's nothing to Pokemon dead. in general. Yeah, there's nothing. There to are. It. There is the competitive battling. Sure, but then Even you gotta that. train the EVs and the IV. I'd rather just play Pokemon Showdown. It's way easier. Okay. Or that's stadium. my point. That's my point. Is that no, Pokemon has some way bigger issues. I know, and I said that. I, I just this is just the thing we were talking about. I totally agree with you. That it has big like, issues. This is like, actually, like, hold on. Really I I said this a couple months ago. I said fucking Pokemon needs to go to someone other than Game Freak because they make bad games. I said this multiple times. You did. He did say this. I specifically remember. I just I I, I this seems like a non-issue to me. It is one of many issues. It is a, such a non-issue having two games with like some slight. There's just literally no reason for it. Also, did you ever look up how many Pokemon were in Heart Gold and Soul Silver? It's like a hundred and something, isn't it? Nope. Is it part of the world Pokedex? Oh, did they add all first three gens? Yes. Oh, okay. So 256. 16 out of 256 you can't get. That's still really bad numbers. They're still annoying it's like 8%. Me. It's less than I thought, but it would still annoy me. I mean, there's also the event Pokemon. That was like 35, so it's like 45. Uh, but event Pokemon are not a part of the problem that we were talking about. Uh, no, some, some of them were events, some of them were trade with uh, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. Yeah. So there were some trade ones, I just don't know which ones are which, because they were all thrown in a list. But here's the thing, they could do like minimal things, like change a few more things if they're going to release two. Uh, uh, it, at the end of the day, saying. someone else just needs to make Pokemon, because Game Freak fucking sucks. This is just one problem I have with Pokemon. I have many problems with Pokemon. Yeah, I agree. It, it, it's, and the thing is, I can't believe it's still as successful as it is. That actually drives me fucking crazy. Because I, I think, Jonathan, the reason you support it in the remakes, because you don't support it in the new games, you just support it because that's the way it was, which is a bad reason to support something. That's not at all what I've been saying. Yes, it is. That's what you said. You said they're remaking the games, and that's how it was. That's literally what you said. I mean, if it's going to be a remake... But you don't support it for the new games, which means you think it's a dumb idea. You're just supporting it because that's how it was. And also, th- these aren't really considered a remake. They're they're like you said, uh, Jonathan. This is going to be like a completely new they experience, add, right? They, I mean, it's not going to be like, more... uh, hey, you, hey, Pikachu, red, and uh, well, not red, but hey, Pikachu, and hey. It's you. all right. I'll, I'll say that it's a bigger problem for new games because those Pokemon haven't been in the the games prior so they're they're rarer to trade for okay but to your point a hundred of or 120 something of those pokemon also were in that game what because they added pokemon from two other versions so those pokemon weren't in that game either so why do those have to be a new game no no i'm talking about the remake of heart gold so the exclusive pokemon that weren't gold pokemon 
also if why are those exclusive the if they weren't in that game then it doesn't matter like it, they're not tradable between games yeah they are i don't know man the last one they just came out with wasn't tradable between yeah you can always go through the yeah, uh poke bank but do, do, do you get what i'm saying the Johnson? game i don't okay so you what said with a new game because those pokemon yeah. weren't in another game or in that game previously right it's worse that they're exclusives yes as you said but in heart gold they added pokemon from two different versions and some of them were exclusive that weren't in that game before okay like, they weren't in the game that they remade but they were in a game that okay but tried. why are they exclusive to this game that they weren't in because it's it's not like they were remade to be exclusive in the game they were exclusive in they were just made exclusive for no reason but it's not exclusive if they're in another game i mean and also no you... if they were in previous games they're not tradable according to this what limited pokedex they're not world oh tradable. sword and shield didn't have a national dex yeah they don't have a national dex that doesn't mean that you can't trade uh like you couldn't trade from other versions you only had the the local yeah. decks you can oh, and, and sword but and shield. That's, this actually i actually so, liked this change and a lot of people didn't but i think i liked it too personally it's it's like it because goes people back, need it goes to, back break. to being a card game well people need to break away from like well i have every version of every game and i trade between them and blah, but blah, also blah. it's like, like no, a card game that. so this is like an expansion and now they're finally doing rotations where some pokemon rotate in and rotate out but what they need now is like a way to trade Pokemon between. Dude, they need a lot because the whole fucking game is. Just... It is a card game, and like, card games, I don't know. It's this is a card game. But when I play a card game, I can buy a pack and pull anything. I would say that this is better than a card game, and it, uh, the, the argument that you just put out is kind of silly. I'm just saying I have access to everything in card game. I'm not defending that card games have better <laughs> access rate in general. Okay. I, the what you said doesn't. It's a it's a non-issue. There there is no pack that only Jonathan can buy, that I would have to buy the Jonathan so, DLC to be able to buy that pack. So you would you would rather have to buy? I would rather have access to everything in the goddamn game so, I bought. Oh, so, so there's a there's a there's a there's a fucking expansion coming out. There's like a hundred fifty new cards. You can have two per deck. So you know, you have three hundred cards that you need to get, and you can buy a pack for a dollar, and you get five cards. Wow, and you have Yeah, I'm, hold on. I'm not I'm not defending You would prefer that. No, I again, I, again, not what I said. I just said I have access to everything. You you have access to 5 out of like 150 for $5 of everything. Okay, but my point is there's no exclusive cards that I cannot get there unless I buy another version. That's there's a bad game. There's exclusive like um like special golden editions or whatever like every card game has shit like that i don't know what you're trying to say i'm trying to say i want everything in the also, game i bought pack, to be in the game i bought also every pack does not have every card in the game because expansion packs exist no it's so expansion again, packs is a different discussion though if we're talking about pokemon a pack, a pack in any card game does not have every card in it the has game. the chance to get every card in that set in the set if, if i buy a pokemon sword pack I could get any Pokemon Sword card. If I buy Pokemon Sword, I cannot... Or, like, if I buy a Pokemon... Because it's Pokemon Sword and Shield for the cards. I can get yeah. every Pokemon Sword and Shield card, right? Potentially. If I buy sure. Pokemon Sword, I cannot get every Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokemon. That is all I was saying. But, like... I'm not defending just, how much money TCGs are. Just like, just like a trading card game, you're going to get extras of the cards that you've had. And so will the other person. Because none of the Pokemon that are exclusive are hard to find except for, the, except for the legendaries except for the legendaries uh Which, you just trade them how many people really trade the legendaries uh, a lot a lot of people just run through the game and will put them up for like wonder trades and shit yeah listen i'm just but, so okay without those people who are either too nice or have a screw loose this would be dog shit this is only defensible on the backs of those people. Yeah, off of the backs of a community. Also, there are uh, places that you can go in a community on some forums where you can trade. But overall, I've... Brendan is right. Fucking, I, I'm sick of Game Freak. They fucking blow. Okay, I can I can say sure on that. Can we end this episode? <laughs> sure. I didn't even know we were still going. Yeah. When would I have ended? Anyway, 
listen, there's a lot to talk control. about with Nintendo. Are, are you still going? Am I not allowed to end? They get yeah. away with a lot of shit. You just said yeah, games. and then you started talking again. <laughs> there's a lot of shit that could be fixed with Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo's fucking whack. I, I think Nintendo you. buys Bandai. That's insane. You're out of your nope. goddamn gourd. They buy Bandai. I don't think Bandai would ever go for it. I don't know. I, I can see them buying Capcom, maybe. Really? I don't think they have the money to buy Capcom. You think they have the money to buy Bandai? Yeah. Uh, Bandai. Let's see the size of Bandai. Bandai market. Ad. Let's see. Just end They're it. worth... I don't know how many that is. Okay, that'll be like end. I think there were six billion, roughly. Yeah, and Nintendo has cash on hand about eighteen billion. They could buy B and I. How much is Capcom worth? I don't know. Let's see. I feel like Capcom has to be worth more, right? I don't know. Ask the question. They're worth uh, eight point three, so they could. Still I see six point pay- five. I see 8.3 on Yahoo Finance. Macro. 8.153 now. So So very similar companies. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this episode's done. We talked about Pokemon for like half an hour. Uh, Jonathan wouldn't let it go. He kept defending Pokemon. I mean, you wouldn't let it go just as much. No, he was defending one aspect. I, I checked out of that conversation like 15 minutes ago. Could have fooled me. Yeah, that's crazy that you say that you were still arguing. You were literally just like switched to arguing with Brendan. I just kind of was like, yep. Anyway, Pokemon's bad. Fire Game Freak. I hope Arceus is good because I don't think that's Game Freak. Although that could set a bad precedence if it's bad. Then, oh, it is Game right? Freak by life. Oh, no. Um, but like Mystery Dungeon isn't Game Freak. And those are, oh, and I lo- those I love are, those well, are actually, different the, games. The, the, the latest mystery dungeons are dog water. Anyway, this episode's done. This was long. Very uh, long. And not all of it pertains. Oh, to by the week. way, one more thing. Uh, Arceus so actually has a release date and it's January twenty eighth, twenty twenty two. Okay. Yep, there you go. That's all I had to add. Alright, bye. <laughs>